Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here today to bring you your weekend of August the 28th to August the 29th, your beautiful spiritual messages. I'm working with many decks today, uh, all different decks, and they're all spiritual or angel related cards. So we start off with our first one, and these this is the beautiful deck by Ann Ellis, Angels. Okay, she's out here on YouTube, and again, you heard me say she gifted me this beautiful deck. So, what it says is, and the wisdom deck, okay, the wisdom section of her deck is guiding us to focus extra attention to the messages helping us to learn, grow, and move forward. So, the particular message here is, show leadership qualities, get organized, make plans, and stay disciplined. It's time to do these things, okay? So, she's got a cute little angel here and she's got three boxes and one says neat tidy very neat and tidy so this is about stepping up this weekend and maybe getting things done you know getting yourself in order uh, you know making sure that you've crossed your T's and dotted your I's right so this is all about time to show your leadership step up call rank and get things done and organized this week so plan to stay disciplined plan to stay focused on the journey that you're taking this weekend and live in the moment in order to do this successfully. I love the wisdom cards. These are so whimsical and so humorous. I love her simplicity in them and I can't thank her enough. Also, you know, it has the number four on it and four stands for foundation, structure, focusing inwardly for stability. It's about being able to turn a situation around, okay, uh, to your advantage. So this this weekend, step up and it talks about getting organized and getting work done. Coming in below your wisdom angel here, you got from the angel, beautiful angel uh, feather deck, connect with the moon. And this is the silver angel, okay? So I'll let you see it in a minute. The angels advise you to sit out or walk in the moonlight. The moon's energies will light up your path and protect you on your way. So this is about using the elements and the power of the moon, right? I tell you this all the time, that the moon is the biggest, brightest, illuminating ball in the universe here. And it literally, it literally lights up everything. This is about trusting your intuition right now. And all like the moon card, in traditional tarot, that's what it talks about, eh? Tapping into your God-given uh, talents that you have, that you've earned, that you've learned, and that you've retained, and then tapping into your intuition. It's all about nurturing yourself, grounding yourself with tenderness. It's about hope and encouragement. It's about peace and persistence. It's about meditation. It's about appreciation of women and nature. Oh, I like that. It's about kindness and, you know, medium unconditional love, female reproduction, serenity, spiritual and romantic love and sensitivity. So, silver is a mixture of the colors black and white. The moon's silver energy removes emotional restrictions and restores equilibrium to your energy and your body. The angels would like you to enjoy emotional balance, clear insight, and clarity. If you are involved in a difficult situation at the moment with a friend, family member, or colleague, this clarity will aid you to resolve the situation. For protection, Visualize yourself totally surrounded by a silver mesh. This silver mesh is a link to the spiritual realm that provides stability and psychic protection by deflecting any negativity. So, you know, under the, under the light of the silvery moon. Remember the song? So, I do think that this week you're going to be staying focused on things that are important to you that you need to do this week and you're going to step up and do it uh, here uh, you know and trust your intuition when you go forward coming in with the beautiful card from the seven energies uh, deck you have been given and I want to put out a shout out for Donna my beautiful friend Donna she gift, gifted me this deck and this is close and Encounters. So what are we learning here from the close encounters? Let's see what we have here about the close encounters. This is all about vulnerability as a strength, letting others see your wounds as well as your strength, setting healthy boundaries. So this is a time of connection that asks for you to be vulnerable and authentic. 
let go of any social masks or constructs you use to keep yourself apart from others. Lower your shields and allow yourself to step into a dance of intimacy. When you become close to people, you remind yourself that you are not alone. You're part of a beautiful, meaningful bond. At a deep spiritual level, there are so many lessons offered to you in this closeness. At a social level, intimate relationships help you ignite the spark of life that is the power of affinity. You flourish as a result of offering emotional honesty, a true desire for equality, love, friendship and laughter. We aren't meant to be alone. Yet, sometimes we are wounded and we build walls around ourselves so we don't get hurt again. It's time to be honest about yours and step out from behind that barrier and engage in all of life. This is a beautiful opportunity to allow your vulnerability to be your strength as you choose to live in integrity and without artifice. Even in your work life, this mode of construction allows you to be truly present. This mode of connection allows you to be truly present. When you live this way, everything you and everyone thrives because you're living in your own light. By doing so, you, you know, you have no need to defend yourself when you're being truly and utterly you. Empowered by your raw openness and willingness to be seen, in this way your close encounters will not fail. There is so much to celebrate when you stand eye to eye, shoulder to shoulder, sharing your heart. So open up this weekend, okay? Open up your true feelings. Don't keep things pent up and locked up within you. Creatively and compassionately express yourself, your needs, your desires, and your feelings this week. Coming in below that beautiful message, you have the great teacher from the Angels and Ancestors deck. The, you know, aren't they beautiful? They're absolutely beautiful. So this particular one says, learn from spiritual experiences, right? So know that what is happening around you is divinely inspired. Learn from your current experiences, then share them with others. This card can represent a teacher in your life or the great teacher within you. Either way, it shows that you have dedicated a lot of time, effort, and energy to understanding yourself and the world. You are having spiritual experiences at this time and gaining a greater awareness of what you need to do in order to grow. There are great. There is a great chance that if you've been having any challenges recently, you've surmounted them and allowed them to be vehicles to lessons that are helping your inspirational connection. If you feel that you've received messages from heaven or the universe recently, this card is confirming that these have indeed been holy experiences. I love this, the great teacher within or the great teacher uh, that you are. So know that you're going to have the feeling this weekend, week of peace because you've stepped up, okay, and you've learned from your past experiences that when you open up, and you truly stand in your own truth and integrity and you allow yourself to become transparent here, you can express yourself to those around you and it brings you peace. Let's see what we have here from our chakra deck. You got creation. All right. I like this. All right. This is all about, um, you know, inspiration. When we talk about creation, we, we're usually inspired, right? So your path is an artistic one. Express your love in a tangible art form. It is time to make these decisions. So you may have put some of your creative uh, endeavors, your creative talents and gifts uh, you know, to rest for a while. Perhaps things got busy or you just didn't feel inspired to go out there and create. This is a message that says you need to do this again. Paint, sing, dance, whatever it is you do, step up into the joy of creation and doing that. Okay. Are you waiting for someone's permission to create your own life? What do you do when, you know, what do I need to see in order to claim my own gifts? All right. So open yourself to the magic. This is about lasting transformation, divine feminine awakening, creativity, and finding your muse, owning your gifts. Okay, so it's about creativity, muse, and magic this weekend. Don't be afraid to express your creativity here this weekend. Beautiful. It sounds like it's going to be a great weekend for you. Now, this is a brand new deck. 
and it's called the Heal Yourself Reading Cards. So they're absolutely beautiful. They're very, very modern, the uh, artwork on them. And this particular one you got below the creation is to be brave and step up. Don't be afraid that you're not good enough. Okay, this is courage. Courage re requires you to fearlessly stride ahead despite the challenges you are experiencing. Okay, so in order for you to succeed in what you desire, you need to prepare for the challenges ahead. Make a list of the support you need to tackle the approaching opportunities. Become aware of what or who you are afraid of. Imagine that this fear takes on the shape of a person. What does he or she look like? Look this fear in the eyes. Tell it that you are willing to learn from it and master the lessons, but you are not willing to be a slave to it. Imagine loving your fear and taking steps to do this. Okay, so whether you're afraid of success or failure and you cannot stay where you are, okay, you need to make a decision and move forward with belief, trust, and boldness. Give it your all, no matter the outcome. Despite what you have been telling yourself, you are ready for a new adventure and another chance to prove that you have what it takes to face life's challenges. Stop investigating in limitations. Stop investing in limitations. Lack and dysfunction. Every blessing has a challenge and every challenge contains a blessing. You are ready to explore both. While there may be difficult moments ahead, keep positive and believe that everything is going to work out for your absolute best. You are being asked to gather the courage to be who you truly are and to stand strong for your convictions. Beautiful. So, you know, the whole weekend is very interesting. You know, you're stepping up into your wisdom, getting things done, standing up here, uh, you know, um, and, and stepping up here into your power here and realizing that you want to be open and express yourself creatively. Know that, you know, you are protected here. You've got great a great teacher here and someone hanging around you, standing over you, protecting you and guiding you through this weekend and be brave about it. Okay, step up and be who you truly want to be. This is beautiful. Well, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, I hope that these messages, uh, you know, guide you to bring clarity and the abundance that you desire this weekend. They're meant here to bring guidance and clarity and, you know, messages of information. And they're just what we need in these days, lightness and light. Please know that I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And remember, today is a brand new day to manifest and live the life you love. My blessings and prayers are that you stay in continued good physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. And please play safe, be safe, and stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend, all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac.